Okay, welcome back ladies and gents. It is of course Aprilia AI here and today we're going to be talking about how to sell your AI generated images to these stock photo websites and what you need to understand is that not all stock photo websites actually allow AI submissions so what I did was basically go out of my way to research which ones basically are offering this feature and also which ones are paying you the most. But what you need to have is a realistic expectation. You are not going to become millionaire by selling out stock images. This is going to be mostly a side hustle or some type of a passive income and maybe paying off your AI subscription, whatever it's into ChatGPT or Midjourney, for example. And other things you need to understand is that some of these platforms will require tax verifications or ID verifications. And also there might be quite a high quotas when it comes to waiting for the images to actually get accepted on these platforms. There are certain threshold you know, requirements. They have to be certain image format and they have to be certain size. But in case you're gonna be like, prompting with the latest mid-journey version or for example with stable diffusion xl you are likely not going to have a lot of problems especially if you're not going to be prompting out people which are usually the things that are you know rejected mostly some so some platforms do not accept images of people but let's get started with the first entry here which is anabay stock and this one is by far the best paying platform all the getter, most people, in case you have watched other people's videos, they have made the most amount of money throughout out of a stock. They have relatively good review times for their image. When you submit images to their platform, I have made around dollar per image. There are certain cases where I have made more and maybe I have around 50 submissions, actually less than that when I look into this category. So the more images you have, the more chances you have making sales basically. And that's kind of the strategy that I would be focusing more is to do more mass upload style of things. And you can have a relatively good success with Atabase stocks. So here are some examples of things that I have sold out on the platform. Here I have sold photo. This was the first sale that I did. This was the first image that I sold on the platform. And that was for 40 cents. But in case I also sold this image and I got $3.3 from it. So depending on what people are going to be buying through database stock, like higher resolution image, exclusive commercial rights and things like that is going to be depending on, you know, the, the price of the gain that you're going to be making is dependent on that. You are going to be have to be sending them some tax documents in order to get verified or at least get paid. You don't need to do it immediately on the platform. And you also need $25 until you are going to be paid on this platform. And obviously there has to be some, it says like 45 days until the first sale has been done before you can get paid. And in terms of like the verification process, I think I didn't have that many images that were disqualified on the Anabase stock platform. You have to do your own tags and things like that on this platform though. But it's, it's really good in terms of the highest payouts is the best. It's not gonna have the most consistent amount of payouts compared to some of the other platforms we're gonna be talking about here today. But in terms of like per image sales, this one is gonna be really, really good. And I'm gonna be telling you also this, that this industry is not gonna be a thing in 10 years. People are going to be all AI generating their images and they're going to be using less stock websites. So this is a kind of like a dying business, even though they're going to be adapting to AI or not. So I'm just kind of like here to make the best out of the situation right now. And I'm going to be starting to probably upload a lot more content here in the upcoming weeks and so. But let's move into our second entry, which is called Free Pick. This one is a platform where I have made, as you can see, I made... 11 downloads this month, which is the same amount of downloads that I made in my whole time in Arabic stock from since last summer, which is around nine months. Obviously, we have to take in court the times it takes to actually get the images approved. And Freebix model is a bit different where they kind of pay you around one cent in euros, a bit more than that, 1.5 cents per download basically throughout the platform, sometimes a bit more. So I made 11 downloads this month and made 19 cents. That's not much, but as I said, I make a lot more downloads on this platform and also I have only 64 published images here, which is relatively low and some of them are kind of low quality. 
And also another way you can make money is throughout their referral program where you're going to be earning 10% from their earnings that they're going to be approving. So apparently I got some couple of people here who have joined under me. But Peak is pretty good because their uh, model also allows you to sell images for free. And it's just not as competitive. It's a good place to basically upload images about festivities. I think my best published image was some type of a Muslim Muslim image about a Muslim praying or something. Let me see if I can find it. That's where the, my most of my downloads have come from. And yeah, so this one has sold 44, 41 purchases or downloads basically for this image on this platform. So there are different types of niches you can operate in and you can have a pretty good success on this platform because free pick, I mean, it's a little less income obviously, but you're also able to sell prompts here. So people might be buying out your prompt, but you're not have the ability to basically sell out on a higher price, on a premium price, which is amazing, prob problematic for people. If you value your images a lot more, yeah, maybe you should want to sell at Adobe instead. But let's let's move on. So Freepik is another great example. And also they, at this point, might be reviewing a bit faster than Adobe as, as of right now. But I have mixed results here so far. But a lot more transactions. Then I we have Zedge. And Zedge is selling out phone wallpapers. But instead of the customers paying, they watch an ad or they can use Zedge credits which they can basically buy with real money and b basically one ad is a one cent sometimes a bit more than that and i have made a decent amount of money how much we made last year and we made seven dollars this one's been more competitive in the sense that it does require you to well you have to have a certain amount of money made i think they need to make you like 25 dollars or was it 50 dollars within a one year and if you don't make that you're going to be losing all your money but i had a pretty good success with this platform so far it's very steady income on a daily basis and one of the things that is really good out is that when i upload a, a wallpaper here it takes around five minutes to get approved sometimes they go in the bending stage and then it will take whatever long, maybe you need to email them about it. But most of the time it's instant verification. So this allows you to upload a lot faster images and they also allow GIF images and even softcore porn apparently. So this is a very good platform to basically, if you want to upload fast and make money fast, you need to upload a lot more here as I have on this platform. I got different profiles here. I'm not gonna share all my secrets here, but I, I made decent amount of money here, um, not a cash out yet, but if I get back to making, you know, one wallpaper per day, it snowballs pretty nicely. So maybe I can show you a better chart here somehow, but maybe in the reports tab. So it's been snowballing and I haven't been uploading in this year, like three wallpapers. So as you can see, the, the plays have been going up because my portfolio of wallpapers is up and this is what something i kind of noticed with other platforms as well is that the more your portfolio grows it starts to become a lot more viable option in terms of generating revenue so that's what i kind of like about this business in terms of passive income in the beginning it's going to be very little but if you're going to be putting time and effort into it and you have a lot of ideas what to prompt this actually can be some good side hustle for you but let's move on then we have one, two, three, RF. This one is another one that has been promoted by a lot of different platforms. They allow actually you to sell videos as well. The AI generating video business is obviously kind of kickstarting with Sora and everything. And I think it's going to be a lot bigger thing in the upcoming months. And I got to jump into that. And you can sell AI images here. The verification process to get into this platform, though, is very hard. And as of right now, I am not verified here. So I don't have any statistics to show you. I have only watched other people's research and data that they have shown me. And based on that data, I can tell you that 123RF is probably the best after the ones that we just talked about. So this is an also a very redeemable platform. There are a couple of other smaller ones, but I wouldn't say that they have as higher payouts per image 
as RF has and also not as much user base. So it's important to also get into stock websites, which have a lot of users on a daily basis. Like some of the smaller ones like Dreams Time, I don't know how many images they sell per day, maybe thousand or something. And that's not a lot when it gets you know spiraled into so many different accounts. But uh, RF, if you get into inside here, I think it can be better money. And far as I'm concerned, you're gonna be getting like 10 to 20 cents per image sale on the platform. I could be wrong about that, but yes, I think that this is gonna be paying you second best after Adobe in terms of like per image sale. But yes, you need to go through ID verification, tax verifications, and then you need to you know, submit 10 images before it can get approved. And you sometimes need to like email them. And, and I'm, I'm just in the process of actually getting accepted there. And hopefully I will be getting there soon. And then lastly, we have Wirestock. And maybe you have seen this being shilled by certain specific YouTuber or other YouTubers. And Wirestock is basically an aggregator, meaning that when you upload images into this platform, it uploads these images into multiple different websites. So for example, I have this wallpaper that I uploaded here, and this wallpaper is now being sold at multiple different places like Adobe, Dreamstime, 12ZRF, Freepik, Imajo, Mini Canvas, and other places. Oh, sorry, Miri Canvas. And so basically it's an aggregator, but it's not best because once you upload the image here, you have, first of all, it's paid in order to upload in this platform. So it's $10 a month and $120 per year. Once you upload your first 20 images, which get verified, you're going to be getting $5 sign up bonus. And that's something I have received, but I have not made any sales to this platform, which I'm a bit dubious about because I think sometimes the reporting on this website is really poor. When you make money, they don't really tell you when it was and from what image. A lot of that transparency is lacking, but one of the ways to make money throughout the wire stock is through the challenges. And some people do not upload based on making money throughout selling images. They just join into these challenges. And usually there's a lot of challenges here. There's been 349 and these are going to be getting you cash prizes. So people can basically upload entries to these contests and there's usually rules. What is the theme? And then there's going to be like usually five to three winners and they're going to be getting portion of the price pool. So here we have one person getting $50, $50, $20, $15 and $5 for uh, three runner up. So love, that's basically what six, six different uh, winners throughout this contest and that is like 600 entries so that means like a one percent chance to basically win a reward and in case you're really good at prompting you can make a decent amount of money i've seen a lot of people actually make decent amount of money by just entering into the contests that is their one of their strategies to make money throughout wirestock but yes they have very strict you know criteria and sometimes when you upload video images into the platform they might add like bad tags. So this image got into accepted into their main. So you can buy this image from this print from Wirestock's own website, but this didn't actually get released on the other platforms that they usually do. So they're not really transparent about either that. Also, I do want to say that they do have a very fast verification process usually. So it's not more than a week to basically get them verified. But yes, I think it's not been very consistent for me. And I think the reporting of their APY and everything is like a bit dubious and I'm not like necessarily trusting that 100%. But throughout the referral program and throughout the challenges, you can make a decent amount of money though. And maybe you can also make sales. Maybe I've been unlucky. I only have 85 submissions here, which out of 40 are accepted in the, all the marketplaces. So 45 didn't get accepted to be published on multiple different platforms. So I guess I've been unlucky and may, maybe I've been targeting wrong niches, who knows, but that's for it. 
And then as a last thing before I end this video, I do have, I made an article last year which goes into some other alternatives which currently allow you to upload AI images in case you want to take a look at it. I'm going to leave this also in the description down below. And there might be other stock image websites in the future which are going to be allowing you to upload AI images there which we're probably going to be covering on the channel. And obviously there are other ways and places like on print on demand stuff where you can upload your images, but I'm going to be doing a separate video about that later on. So I bid you farewell. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like. Tell me about your performances selling AI images and I will be seeing you in the next video. Cheers.